First impressions are key, and since six years have passed since Halo 5, Guardians, for a lot of people, like myself, Halo Infinite will be the first Halo multiplayer experience they've played at launch, especially since Infinite's multiplayer is free to play and accessible to everyone with an Xbox or PC. And what a launch it's been! With its tight 4v4 matches and more chaotic 12v12 big team battle on expertly designed maps, Infinite revives and reinvigorates the glorious sci-fi action that once made Halo King among multiplayer FPS games. Riding high on that thrill, Halo Infinite's multiplayer has dash slid into the first-person shooter scene and meleeed the competition off the map. They always do. You have one bullet against an entire army. It's enough. I glide serenely through the undulating turquoise sea, enjoying the silky sensation of movement as I cut a path through this landscape of... What? Clouds? The Ultra Void is an utterly surreal place, beautiful, colorful, yet also broken, desolate. This is all that's left of a host of forgotten worlds, sucked inexorably into the gravitational pull of a massive black hole. Above me, a monstrous looking creature known as a remnant patrols the sky, and it's so large I'll literally skate along its back when I confront and kill it, part of a desperate bid to save my home planet from becoming the latest victim of the Ultra Void's insatiable appetite. Solar Ash has some big ideas, and while it's not all smooth skating thanks to minor control quirks and a couple of design elements that don't quite reach their full potential, it's definitely a journey worth taking. save anyone, not even yourself. Watching 128 players simultaneously running into Battlefield 2042's crowded war zones is a great illustration of why bigger isn't always better. While chaotic gunfights are undoubtedly part of Battlefield's charm, massive lobbies with that many players eventually turn the series' signature modes frustrating instead of fun. Thankfully, its tense new Hazard Zone mode provides an interesting strategic alternative, and its crazy customizable portal tools are an exciting glimpse at how its future could thrive with a little help from the creativity of the community. After playing Battlefield 2042 on live servers with the other players who have the Gold Edition, Ultimate Edition, or a subscription to EA Play Pro, I'm not entirely impressed. As the name implies, this latest Battlefield shifts the series into a near-future setting full of high-tech gadgets and freedom to play Battlefield the way you want. The goal was to bring back the feeling of Battlefield being a playground again. It also does away with even the meager campaign stories Battlefield V had, featuring no single-player options whatsoever. What it does have is the infantry and vehicle-based shootouts across those huge, beautiful maps Battlefield is generally known for, as well as a few fresh ideas of its own, but not all of the innovations it introduces are for the better.
Final Fantasy XIV is a massively multiplayer online role-playing game developed and published by Square Enix. Directed and produced by Naoki Yoshida, it was released worldwide for Microsoft Windows and PlayStation 3 in August 2013, as a replacement for the failed 2010 version of the game, with support for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Mac OS releasing later. Final Fantasy XIV takes place in the fictional land of Erzia, five years after the events of the original 2010 release. At the conclusion of the original game, the primal dragon Bahamut escapes from its lunar prison to initiate the Seventh Umbral Calamity, an apocalyptic event which destroys much of Erzia. Through the god's blessing, the player character escapes the devastation by time traveling five years into the future. As Erzia recovers and rebuilds, the player must deal with the impending threat of invasion by the Garlean Empire from the north. It's lash rent by tooth and claw. Chorus is a space combat video game played from a third-person perspective. The game's protagonist, Nara, pilots Ascension Starcraft known as Forsaken. Forsaken can be armed with a variety of weapons such as missile launchers, Gatling guns and laser cannons. Forsaken also has three slots for mods, which can be used to alter the ship's performance in combat. The game is set in an open world, and the players can complete various optional quests. As Nara explores the world, she will encounter various ancient temples. Upon exploring these temples and solving puzzles, Nara will gain ether powers that grant her new combat abilities. For instance, the Rite of the Hunt ability allows Forsaken to warp directly behind enemies. It is in her honor that we strive for Chorus. with us. 